What is happening everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a little while, but we are back with another Instagram review video. So a lot of you guys have been messaging me asking me to review your Instagram theme pages because it brings you a lot of value when I look at other pages and kind of tell you what's wrong with them and what's good essentially. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna jump into three more accounts, go over what I think looks good about the account, what's doing well for them, um, and how they can improve. And hopefully you can take some of them ideas away and implement them into your own pages. Um, and hopefully that's gonna help you grow your Instagram theme page too. But before I carry on, as we always do, there'll be a $50 giveaway to one random person in this video who leaves a comment and likes the video um, and that winner is going to be picked at random in a few days so make sure you get involved in that head on over to my instagram give me a follow and give me a message let me know that you've entered and i'll be announcing the winner there and so, you never know you might be 50 dollars richer but without further ado let's get started with this video and let's jump straight into the first account that we're going to be reviewing today okay so the first account we're looking at today is camp.lifestyle now obviously these guys do camping and nature style content where they're gonna be looking at cool campsites, maybe some cool places that you can stay, uh, different adventure and travel stuff too. So let's jump straight into it and check out their page. Now, straight off the bat, they've got a really cool name and it's really, really easy to remember. Along with that, they've got a really nice looking logo, uh, which looks like it's been made on Canva or something similar. Um, so yeah, that's really good straight off the get go there. Camping in nature, live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. Now, cool, short and catchy, nice use of emojis there. Maybe I'd have, add another line, maybe a call to action such as follow me or follow this page to keep up to date um, with new and creative places for you to stay. Something like that. Let's jump into the content. So as you can see here, comment your favorite camping food. Would you like, would you look at this scenery? Uh, sometimes simple designs first. Cool. So one good thing about this page is it sets itself up to, for some really good opportunities to sell products. As you can see here, you know, there's a full array of different products that could potentially be sold to campers. So it could be a pretty good niche to be in um, if you wanted to do promotions in the future or potentially open up your own camping style shop, whether that's a drop shipping store or your own product. And, you know, you've got rucksacks there, you've got different mats, you've got water bottles, uh, equipment such as even carrying cases, flasks, little mini bags, gloves, torches, all of that sort of stuff. There's a huge range of different products that can be beneficial to people that are into camping and sort of the adventure lifestyle niche. So yeah, look, all in all, the content looks yeah, pretty so good. You're yeah, getting a good amount of likes yeah. and it looks like you're putting some time into your captions as well. You know, you're, you're driving that engagement by asking people to like the, the photo if they would live there. Uh, you're asking people to then follow your page and letting them know that you know, you're posting daily too. It looks like you're crediting people as well, which is really good. That's gonna help you not get your account banned. Obviously, I would double check before you still post anyone's content that they are happy for you to do that. So just shoot a message beforehand. I've got plenty of videos on the topic um, and that will cover you there. Just so your hashtags are working well, you're switching them up every post, which is great. I don't think that's necessary. I don't really do it with my pages, but a lot of people have seen great results from switching up the, the different hashtags every time they post. Um, one thing I would note is you're obviously only posting photos at this moment in time. I would see if you can find some cool adventure videos, uh, maybe some different videos you can use for reels. I always talk about it because it works so well. Uh, reels are still blowing up on all the pages that I have um, and it should definitely be something that you should be using in your strategy too. So yeah, see if you can find any new videos or reels around your topic and your niche um, and get posting them. But all in all, it's a pretty good page. You know, 31K followers, just under 700 posts. There is one thing that's just occurred to me though. I've just looked at the posting schedules. So 26th of May, 25th of May, 24th of May, 17th. It looked like you was posting semi-consistently, but now you've just stopped. So whether or not you've just kind of given up on this page or you, you know, maybe you're bored of it or maybe it's just not growing as fast as you would like, I would really recommend you get back into it as soon as possible because the longer you leave it, uh, the easier it is for your Instagram theme page to just die, essentially. Like, when you come back to it after, you know, three or four months off and you start posting again, it's really, really difficult to build that engagement back up um, and get an audience that not only trusts your, your page, but actually wants to follow you. So, I would definitely start posting on this again, whether or not you use an automation software such as laser.com um, or hiring a virtual assistant to help you there. But yeah, definitely jump on it because you've got a really nice page here and it seems like such a waste for it to just go. 
So yeah, I could have bought this flask from your Instagram page, mate. It would have been a great product for you to sell. Okay. On great to the cool. next one. So the next page we're gonna be looking at today is Fitness Popular Monsters. Now, straight off the bat, they've got a cool logo that looks really good and it's really eye-catching. You know, the fit, fitness and big bold text there really stands out in your feed um, and it looks really, really professional when you actually come to the page too. So they've got a good use of emojis and a nice amount wow. of call to actions in their caption there. You know, all the best workout clips in one place, helping you to become fit and stronger. Follow us for daily fitness and gym motivations and then diet plans. So obviously you, you're trying to make some money there setting diet plans or maybe you're just giving away some free content in exchange for emails. So I really like how you've got uh, similar branded icons there for cool. your highlighted stories. That looks really, really good. Um, and you're sticking within your color theme too. So that's really nice. That's a good way of building up uh, a solid brand going forward uh, and one that people can remember. So let's jump into your content. One day ago, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, you're posting consistently, which is great. And with only 9,000 followers, seems like you're getting a good amount of engagement, you know, 760 likes there. These ones didn't do so well. Um, but you are crediting people, you are giving them a CTA to follow you. Again, you've got some good hashtags which would be working well for you. Um, it looks like some of your posts don't do as well as others. Now this could be an array of different things. This could be your, maybe you're posting at the wrong time, uh, a time that your audience just isn't awake or active. So I'd always go into your insights, make sure you have a business page set up, go into your insights and just check out when your followers are most active. Obviously, if you've got a pre predominantly American following, you need to be posting at times that work with Americans. For example, my accounts have big American followings as most of yours do. So I'm posting at 6 p.m. American time, which is like 10 p.m. UK time, give or take. You want your post to be hitting your audience's newsfeed when they're actually on Instagram and most active. So it looks like the covers you're using are fine as well, and you're using a good mix of different content types. So it looks like you're using a lot of carousels. Uh, perhaps you should maybe switch that up and start using some more reels and some more videos. Um, if we jump into your reels here, you can see, they aren't doing crazy numbers, but you've got one here that hit 170K views. Now, for a page with only 9,000 followers, that's huge. So I would definitely be looking at just keep pumping out reels. There's so much content that you can use in this niche that you shouldn't be struggling to find any content to use for your reels. And if you are, you can just start using videos and make them into reels anyway. So I would definitely look at that. That's really gonna help you grow. Um, but look, to be honest, you're, you're doing that anyway and you've got a pretty consistent plan by the looks of it. Um, you just got to keep at it and keep focusing on being consistent and delivering content at the right times for your audience. Cool, so the final page we're going to be reviewing today is the Television Junkie. Now, the name's cool. I like that. It, there's no full stops. There's no underscores. Really simple and really, really easy to remember. Um, and with that, you've got a cool logo there as well. One thing I would say, the text is a little bit small and it's a little bit illegible, so you can't really see it from afar, especially if they've got smaller phone, if that's the thing. Like I've got an iPhone Plus and I can just about read the text. The, the caption's good. Filmmaking is a chance to live many lifetimes. Robert Altman, your own personal movie gallery. Follow for daily cinematic updates. Cool, nice and simple. I like it. Again, you've got the story highlights, which looks good. Maybe I'll try switching it up. Instead of having the text there that you can't really read, I would just have icons that associate with individual things, such as, you know, you've got suggestions, polls, quiz time, page growth. Now, on the page growth bit, I always recommend you don't have that. I don't think it looks professional. Um, I don't really think it's necessary. I just don't think people and your followers actually care about that. So I'd get rid of that, you don't need it. Um, your content looks cool. It's quite a niche topic. I haven't really seen many pages around sort of movies and that sort of thing. Obviously it might be quite difficult to ask for permission from individual creators uh, for the content. So I don't know if you've faced any issues there. I'd be interested to know if you have. Um, three days ago, three days ago, four days ago, four days ago, four days ago. Looks like you're consistent. You're posting multiple times a day. You haven't posted for the last three days, um, but that's nothing to worry about. You can still pick it up and uh, keep posting from now on and um, it shouldn't damage your, your reach or your engagement. So let's have a look at how much engagement you're actually getting in your content. So it looks like you are getting a good amount of likes for the amount of followers that you have, you know, 6,000 followers. 
Um, it's looking pretty good. This one's got 7,000 likes, so this one obviously hit the explore page. Um, 7,000 views here. That's great. And looks like you're posting reels as well. Let's see how well these did. Cool. So some of these, one, one of these got 2.6 million views. That just shows the power of reels. Look, 100, 102K likes, 474 comments, and 2. Point and 2.6 million views. So that's huge for a page with 6,000 followers. Like, how can you get that many views um, so easily just by posting a piece of content um, and you've only got 6K followers? So good. So that just proves to everyone you need to be posting reels on your page um, because they really can blow up. And look, it looks like you posted a few reels before any really took off. I mean, you got one there with 527,000 and that was your second reel. So. I don't need to lecture to you. You know how important they are, uh, but you're doing the right thing by posting them. But yeah, let's have a look at your captions. Um, follow, nice call to action there, asking you, people to follow you after they've seen your piece of content. Uh, you've got your own hashtag, which cool, it reinforces that brand there. Um, and you are crediting the person you've taken that content from. Now let's see, a lot of people will post their hashtags. Yeah, cool. So you're posting your hashtags as the first comment, uh, which is another method some people use doesn't really matter which way you do it. That's fine as long as you do have hashtags because they are an important part of everyone's strategy on Instagram, or at least they should be. But yeah, all in all, that's a pretty good page. I would just keep doing what you're doing. Um, obviously, it's a bit more difficult to find content like this for you to use uh, because I'm assuming your pool of potential content creators is pretty small um, and you could face some copyright issues if you're not careful with what you pick. So yeah, really, really nice page and um, definitely something you should keep pushing on. Cool, guys, I hope this video helped you in some way. Just a short little review video today. Uh, we're gonna be jumping into more in-depth videos in the future and also looking at how to actually create a business from Instagram and use Instagram across your online businesses too. But if you have enjoyed this video or you did get any value from it in any way, please, please like the video and leave a comment. I wanna know how I've helped you guys or if I could help you guys in any other ways. You can always shoot me a message on Instagram um, and I'll get back to you there and answer any questions that you have. Now I do have a big backlog of messages that I need to go back on. So if I don't respond within the first couple of hours, please don't hate me. I am trying um, and I will get through to you eventually um, and we can have a chat. But yeah, look guys, thank you for tuning in. If you've watched this much of the video and you, you've watched it all the way to the very end, then you are a legend and I wish you all the best of luck with your Instagram theme pages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.